Roxanne is right. There's like no chance you'll ever go on. You know that, don't you? I might go on. You're not going on. Well, I just don't choose to see it that way. Dude, it doesn't matter how you choose to see it. It matters to me. It doesn't matter to anyone else. Well, if it doesn't matter to anyone else, then I can choose what I want. You can choose what you want, but what you want is not your choice. My name is Adam Green. I play the eponymous character of The Understudy. The Understudy. Is he gonna do it like that? I'm J.D. Taylor. I was gonna use the word eponymous, but now I can't. Thank you. Because you'll be using it incorrectly. At any rate, I play Jake. Hollywood movie star, gone Broadway actor. Sorry, sorry, my agent. Hey, what's up? I don't want anyone else getting lost in the bowels of this theater. It's called The Understudy, but it's actually about a stage manager. <laughs> uh, played by me. And uh, the show is about uh, a play, uh, an undiscovered play by Kafka. Today is the day that we're going to put in an understudy. This one day of rehearsal goes terribly wrong for any number of relationship reasons and professional and artistic reasons. Well, the one reason is that, that he got the job, I guess. <laughs> right? right? Yes. Isn't it? Right? Yes. He's really the problem, the obstacle. That's why they call it the understudy. <laughs> We're in a three-hour play by Franz Kafka, so try not to milk the moment, okay? Harry and Roxanne, the stage manager, have a, uh... Go, 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 I'll be right go. back! A history. That is your lousy explanation? It's all I got. Oh, well then, stop talking! And, um, Harry and Jake don't see eye to eye on certain things. You mean, did I hear the part where you said I'm a terrible actor? Okay, yeah, I okay. heard that. Uh, see, what I and so things fly off the rails. <laughs> Laura, are you up there? Are you there? Are you stoned but trying? One of the great things about doing, doing a play that is about doing a play, essentially, is all of the weird ways in which life is imitating art. <laughs> you know, I mean, it really is kind of doing our life up there. Jake enters. You sit down. Charges and try to get to the door. Jake, talk, talk, talk about the magistrate. Smart being outside. If Laura ever shows up again, we'll have sound and lights. Can we try that much? Great, awesome. I love this scene. You ready? Absolutely. I'll be in the house on book. Good. Part of the analogy with Kafka is how much control do we have over our lives? In an industry where there's a lot of things that are happening for incoherent reasons and what that's like and the futility of fighting against that. This exact same thing happened to me in an audition. Suddenly, nobody knew who I was. This show is really about art and why we make it. Do we make it for money, or do we make it because we're human and we can't help but make art? Despite all of the obstacles that we go through, making art is really worthwhile. Is it Kafka that said it's art is the hatchet that hacks away at the frozen sea within us? <laughs> Um, and I think that that's like what the play is saying that art can do for you. Yeah. Did Kafka say that? Yeah.